Hey everyone, it's Kim here, and my friend Tim recently had a post about um, making some pancakes and having all of them stick in his cookware. He, We have been talking about him having a party because our cookware is on sale in May for 60% off, and it gave me an idea that I wanted to try, so I haven't done this before. And I just thought it would be a fun little comparison with Pampered Chef cookware. Now, normally when I do pancakes, I use our old 11 inch square griddle. It's from our executive cookware line that we no longer have. So, uh, well, that particular size we don't have anymore. We do have a double burner griddle that works awesome on pancakes. And it is part of the nonstick set, which I have going right here. I also have a piece of our cast iron and the stainless nonstick. I have all of them preheating at um, about four, four and a half um, for the temperature. My dial goes low to high from two to 10. So it's somewhere in that mid range, but one of the things I definitely know about pancakes is that you want to preheat the skillet. Now, one of the comments on his post was some, he had made a comment about using a spray, a cooking spray, and they still stuck. Um, and I do concur with his friend who wrote, never use cooking sprays on your skillet. And I abide by that as well. So today I'm gonna prop this up. And we ha all of these are getting pretty darn warm. I just mixed up some pancakes in the shaker bottle. So it's not my usual recipe. I do like to use buttermilk, but I'll tell you what, I tried buttermilk in the shaker bottle one time and quickly realized that is not a good idea because they rose up way too much and it was bubbling out of the shaker bottle. Now, this will, will make, I better do little smaller ones about six smaller pancakes and I poured my first one way too big. So we'll just have to see how this kind of goes here. Now, if you make pancakes at home, you know you need to let them get nice and bubbly um, on the top before you flip them. So we'll let this sit for just a minute and I'll tell you a little bit more about the different pans. So the stainless nonstick, you can tell that it has like a little waffle pattern in it. My pancakes are growing together, but you can see they're starting to bubble a little bit. So this pan is heating up quicker than the other ones. I might need to increase the temperature because you can see it's not quite going as fast on the iron skillet and the nonstick one is on a smaller burner. So we'll definitely turn that one up and we'll turn up the iron one just a little bit. Anyway, you can see that little waffle pattern there down on the bottom. So it is a stainless pan, but it has a nonstick coating that is included with it. So the benefit of using this cookware is if you are uh, frying potatoes or even making a grilled sandwich or a quesadilla, it's going to make things a little bit crisper than what you would get on a nonstick skillet. The iron skillet, We'll also, well, all the cookware will go in the oven, but this one will also go on the grill and in the oven, so you have a lot of versatility there um, when using it. And, oh, hi, Angie. Um, the iron skillet then will also give you a nice crispy crust when you are baking cornbread, or um, it will also make really delicious roux um, if you are doing a white sauce. Okay, so our pancakes are just about ready to turn. Let me grab, ah, I didn't grab my spatula that I wanted. Let's get a little one here. First ones, oh yes. Definitely no problem with sticking there in that pan. Let's check out our iron skillet. Now part of this is because I did let them heat up ahead of time. Those aren't quite ready to turn. They aren't fully bubbled yet. So you can see we're still working on getting those bubbles going here. Just about ready to turn that big one, but I really did kind of over pour on that first pancake. Um, I should have gotten my cream ready to make. Let me go ahead and turn this first one off because I think, yep, our first pan is pretty much done. So. 
I'm going to move those off the heat and let them sit. Let's go for this big guy here. Ah. Okay, big one, no trouble. Little one, little bit of trouble. <laughs> Just because um, it's probably off the burner. I kind of have my skillets shifted a little bit since I have so many of them on the stovetop all at once. Um, so you can tell though, all three of these are handling these pancakes with no problem at all. No sticking. Um, part of that is in the process again, letting it heat up first. Oh, <laughs> time out. The one that I truly expected not to have any problem with, I just made a mess of it. Okay, so I have a little bit of need to practice a little more patience. And again, I told you I'm on a smaller burner here. So I think that that's part of the challenge is it's just not heating up evenly like it would on a larger burner. So um, for my snack today, now I need to mix up some whipped cream because I know I already have strawberries cut up, but I just thought that would be a little bit of fun, show you the different cookware that's available. The one thing I didn't try it on was on our rock crock and I should have had one of those out here too to see how it would perform with a pancake. Um, I would guess that that would be the one that I would be most hesitant because it is a ceramic finish on there. It is not any kind of nonstick on it, but um, have a great day. And I hope you enjoyed this fun little playtime. Thanks.